morning, everyone. How is everyone today? Everyone doing well? Good. Well, welcome to the, the second of this year's series of the Lagumi Good Deed of the Month Zoom. Uh, very happy to, uh, to see all of you here again today. I wanted to thank you for participating in our Never Forget Letter campaign from last month's Good Deed Project. Uh, those letters will be presented on Make a Difference with Lakumi Day on October 29th to first responders and families um, who lost loved ones on 9-11. So I know they will appreciate those. If you haven't sent those in yet, it's not too late. Um, you have about two weeks if you can send those in to us at the uh, address on our uh, website, or you can email me or your teachers can email me and let, I'll let you know a, uh, a more direct email address, uh, a more direct address to send these to us so that we make sure that they get presented in time. Uh, speaking of October 29th, uh, as many of you know, and many of you have participated in the past, we have our International Make a Difference with Lukumi Day on Saturday, October 29th, last Saturday of October. And we would love for you to participate and to join us and join kids all around the world in making a difference. Uh, we're going to start that day with a virtual program and we will send out all the details and the link on the virtual program as we get closer. And that after that, we are going to have children in 14 cities around the world doing good deeds everywhere from Athens, Greece, to Germany, to Los Angeles, Gander, Newfoundland, Canada, uh, down to Puerto Rico and everywhere in between. So we hope you will join us on this very special day. Um, today is also a very special day because the focus of our Good Deed of the Month today is not a specific good deed. It's actually more of a concept. And that concept is we wanna talk about how you can find something that you love to do, either a talent or something that you really enjoy, and turn that into making a difference in your own special way. Um, that talent could be a sport. Um, we, had, uh, we had a young boy who did a project uh, raising equipment and donations for baseball last year. Uh, it could be something with a, you know, in music or the arts. Um, today, we are very honored to have with us um, Arsh Pal, who's one of our Lukumi Kids Club board members. Hello. Hey, Arsh. Good morning. Hi. So uh, before we turn it over to you, because we'd love to hear all about the great things you're doing, we wanted to show a very special uh, clip from something. Arsh recently, um, in addition to receiving the Diana Award, from Princess Diana's uh, Charitable Foundation, which is really incredible, Arsh. Congratulations on that. Arsh was also featured last week for all that he does on Good Morning America. So we thought prior to turning it over to Arsh to hear about all the special things that he does and how he can inspire you all to make a difference in your own ways, we wanted to play the video that was on Good Morning America last week. So. If you give me a moment, I will play this. And can everyone see this screen? Arsh, give me a thumbs up if you see the screen. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Grade three series looking at extraordinary kids, starting with the young artist from Iowa who is raising thousands of dollars for charity and using his unique talents on canvas to help spread kindness. My inspiration for painting comes from giving back to the community. I started painting when I was eight years old, and I've so far been painting for four years. On his eighth birthday, mom and his aunt gifted him some, um, you know, canvases, some colors, and then that's how he started. I decided to donate to St. Jude's Research Hospital because I was wanting to help people in need. Me and my mom and my family were just looking at good charities that I could support. And St. Jude Research Hospital said that they treat kids with cancer. I wanted to help kids with cancer. Originally, my first goal was raising $1,000 for St. Jude Research Hospital. And everybody kind of doubted me because I was so young. But when I did raise $1,000, everybody was surprised. He started from $10, and then the highest he has gotten uh, for two of his painting live auction for $10,000. He also uh, won the prestigious uh, Diana Award 
He was one of the 180 children who were honored for that. And this is an overall competition or uh, we get nominations from all over the world. And I received the Diana Award because it's just Diana thought young people have the potential to change the world. It feels good that they looked for me and they chose me for the award. The different paintings I do are like abstract painting, landscape painting of different landscapes. And I have done some animal portraits. I usually look up the reference photo. Like, we usually go traveling a lot. So that's where we sometimes do the reference photos. And that's how I paint. One of my goals in the future is to make art accessible for younger kids. I think some of the art lessons aren't really affordable and accessible because some are expensive. It's always great to support your kids' skills and talent and what they want to pursue in the future or as a, even as a hobby. I wish to do more paintings, donate more money, and young people have the potential to change the world. Oh, uh, let me tell you something. If that is the future of America, this country we're gonna, we're is gonna a good We're going to be okay. We're going to oh. be all right. He certainly is right, showing that young people really can change the world from two yeah. to a thousand dollars for those paintings. It's oh, remarkable. It's amazing. It's amazing. So thank you for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Arsh, what a great, uh, great story that was. Thank you. You Thanks. really are an inspiration. Um, and as we said before, the topic of today is to inspire kids to find something that they love to do, like your painting and your you know, artwork, and then to make a difference like that. I also have to say, I love how you were wearing your Lukumi shirt in one of those clips. So yeah. for that and for being on our Kids Club board, so now I turn it over to you so you can talk to all the kids about, about your story. Sure. So uh, obviously my name's Arsh and I'm now 12 years old. So I've been painting for four years. Um, I started painting when I was eight. Um, and uh, from just from there, I started learning new techniques, getting better at painting. And now I've been making commission pieces, art shows and all that. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much my story. Um, I basically donated um fifteen thousand dollars to charity, um, all over the country, um, and I'm gonna donate another thousand this year, um, and yeah. So, Art, what made you? First of all, what? When did you first get interested in painting? Well, I used to just do painting as just like a hobby when I was younger. Um, but then once my parents and I started getting better and better at it, they, for my eighth birthday, um, they got me canvases and acrylic paint and brushes. And from there, I just been learning new techniques and trying to get better and better. And then when did you decide that you wanted to use this gift that you have to, to make a difference in, uh, in charities and for other people? Yeah. So my, so this kind of dates back to when I was younger. I used to go with my mom to um to where she worked. Um, at, she works at a nursing home. She's an occupational therapist, so she works with the residents there. And um, when I just used to like see them, and they were kind of lonely and in pain because nobody really talked to them. So I just by talking to them and playing with games with them. It just made him smile, and I kind of liked that. So I kind of remembered that. And then sort of like when I started, I started to sell them because I didn't want to, like, stack up on all the paintings. So I decided to sell them. And then with that money, I decided to, um, uh, like, donate it to St. Jude because they supported kids with cancer, and I really wanted to help. So that's pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and then what else did you do for the residents in the nursing home? Um, so I started uh, teaching them painting lessons, um, which they really, really enjoy. And they always want me back for more. Um, so, it, and they really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. And everybody has fun. Well, we're very excited because you're going to be doing a special painting lesson for all of us, aren't you? Sure, I could do yeah. that. Yes, yeah, so on Make a Difference Day on our virtual program on October 29th, 
um, we will let you know in advance and Arsh is gonna be doing a short painting lesson for all of you so that you can then uh, make, you know, paint some paintings and then give them to a nursing home or patients in a children's hospital or a grandparent or whoever it is that you want to cheer up that day. Um, so Arch, do you have any advice to give to kids about uh, using their talents to make a difference? Yeah, so if you like, let's just say you don't have a talent or a hobby at least. So first kind of just like get bored by yourself and try to, your mind will get kind of creative on what you kind of like. And if you already know what you like, then you can use that um, time to help somebody in need such as like, making cards for someone, like Nick's doing. Um, what, like, just any act of kindness that would help somebody and make somebody smile. Um, and nowadays, people are using, like, uh, a lot of technology. I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying people use it a lot nowadays. So just use, like, a little bit less screen time and in for that from that time you can help somebody and find your hidden talent. And then you can do great things just like you're doing. Well, Arsh, yep. we're so proud of you. Congratulations on everything. Arsh was also the recipient of a Lakumi Make a Difference Award this year. Um, so you're really raking up those awards, but keep keep doing good, Arsh, for, for people. And uh, and I hope you're all inspired by his story. Um, speaking of inspiring stories, uh, we had our book that we published in 2019 called Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference. And in there, there are a lot of kids um, who are doing incredible things to change the world. Again, using the talents that they have and things that they enjoy so that philanthropy then becomes something that you enjoy and something that you have fun with and you get your friends involved and it becomes a way of life. Um, we're doing another edition of this book next year, and we would invite all of you as students, Arsh, I know you're going to write an essay for it about the incredible work you're doing, and we'd love for some of you uh, other children to write essays for the book. Um, starting after the new year, I will be visiting schools and doing writing workshops to speak to you about finding your, your talent and your passion to make a difference, and then um, we will include many of your essays in our next book. Um, but before we let you go, um, when we released this book, we had all the kids do uh, short video clips of how they were using their talents to make a difference. So we put a few of them together and we just want to show them to you now. You're going to see um, Adriana who used her experience as a foster child uh, to then do a project to help others, other foster children. You're gonna see Lionel who used his cancer diagnosis to help other kids with cancer. Uh, you'll see Molly who uses her love of animals. Uh, she loves animals and she's now fostered uh, several hundred cats and dogs. Carl who loves music, uh, held a musical instrument drive. So you'll see so many things that, that people can do by using things they enjoy to do to make a difference. So let's go back to YouTube. And we will find this video. Hi, my name is Adriana. This is my puppy dog, Bella. I am 12 years old. I live in Parkland, Florida. I'm so excited to be part of this book, Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference. When I was four years old, I was in foster care. And now we give back to children in foster care and children who were adopted. We give them a book and a pony. The story helps children through their feelings of loss. We also send them through equine assisted therapy programs. The horses have helped me so much and the book's messages has helped me too. I hope they will help the children that, is, that are in foster care and that are adopted. Healing kids' hearts makes me feel really good inside and uh, it makes me feel like others really enjoy how I'm helping the whole world. Children. I help children feel safe and loved, and that's how they feel whenever I do this program. Together, we can make a difference. Hi, I'm Carl Kilb. I'm 16 years old from New York City, 
and I'm proud to be a part of the book, Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference, with the Lukumi Foundation, along with the Tony Award winning Broadway musical, Come From Away. When I was 15 years old, I started an Eagle Scout project called Let's Band Together, where I collected over 100 new and used musical instruments and donated them to six public schools within New York and New Jersey. It felt great to make a difference in my community and help these kids get the gift of music. Together, we can make a difference. Hi, my name is Grace LaFountain. I'm 15 years old and I'm from New Hartford, New York. I am proud to be a part of a new book series, Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference, with the Lukumi Make a Difference Foundation and the new award-winning Broadway musical, Come From Away. When I was eight years old, I won the Lukumi Favorite Childhood Recipe Contest and had the opportunity to cook with Kat Cora, a famous iron chef at Disney World. This experience inspired me to begin my own bake sale in which all proceeds go to charity. I've raised over $5,000 to date. It is not about changing the world, but changing each person's world one step at a time. Together, we can make a difference. Hi, my name is Lionel Lee. I'm from Great Neck, New York, and I'm 20 years old. I'm proud to be part of a new book, Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference, uh, with the Lukumi Make a Difference Foundation and the award-winning Broadway musical, Come From Away. When I was 16 years old, I used my Make-A-Wish to fundraise for a nonprofit organization after I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. This NPO is known as Friends of Karen, and they provide financial and advocacy support for families with children who are undergoing life-threatening illnesses. My project was able to raise a lot of money to help families that are going through a very difficult time. Making a difference is very important to me, and makes me feel like I'm doing something that really helps those around me. Together, we can make a difference. Hello, my name is Isabella Tejeda. I am 17 years old and live in Yorba Linda, California. I am so proud to be highlighted in the new book, Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference, for my work in eradicating illiteracy. When I was in eighth grade, I realized the need for early literacy intervention in my local community. I created Read a Story, Change a Life, a literacy program designed to inspire a love of reading through puppet shows, skits, songs, and writing workshops. Five years later, the program has spread from Anaheim, California to Kampala, Uganda, serving thousands of children. It gives me great joy to see struggling readers become more confident, enabling them to write their own stories. Together, we can make a difference. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I am so excited to be part of the new book called Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference by Lukumi Foundation. I started my foundation when I was 12 years old and so far I've rescued over 430 dogs and raised over $160,000. My favorite part of my foundation is seeing the dogs I rescued from high kill shelters living in happy homes. I hope I inspire you to rescue dogs also. Together we can make a difference. Hello, my name is Tyler Stone, and I am in the book Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference. I help homeless veterans and give them care products. I started at the age of four and I now am eight. Together we can make a difference. My name is Sydney from Gander, Newfoundland, Labrador, and I am 10 years old. We are in grade 5 at Gander Elementary. Hi, my name is Graham from Gander, Newfoundland, Labrador, and I am 10 years old. In my name Canning's class, we started a project where we wrote stories about doing good deeds in our community. We are proud to be a part of a new book, Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference with the Lou Kumi Foundation and the award-winning Broadway musical Come From Away. This project was so rewarding and not only made us happy, but others around us as well. Together we can make a difference. Welcome back. I hope you were inspired by those great kids. Um, copies of those book, that book is at your school. If you'd like to read it and read some of these essays, we'd be happy to send additional copies to you. And the lesson here is that whether you're five years old or 25 or 85, um, you can make a difference in your own special way. Uh, it doesn't have to be something big. It can be something small. Uh, it can be a small kind gesture. It can be doing something nice for one person or a thousand people. But um, anything you do um, with, with the right heart and the right mind can make a difference. So here's the challenge for all of you uh, for this month. October 29th is International Make a Difference with Lukumi Day. 
I'd like to ask each of you to find something that you want to do. It's not an organized project this month. It, it could be, you could organize something at your school or your community, um, but find something that you like to do, whether you play a musical instrument or you like to sing or you like a sport or you may have a family member that had an illness and you wanna support a certain charity or like Grace, you wanna have a bake sale to raise money for your favorite charity. Come up with something. Um, and again, no good deed is too small. Come up with something where you can make a difference in your own special way. And I guarantee you, it's going to make you feel terrific and you're going to love it and you're going to enjoy doing it and want to continue doing it. And then once you do that, let us know. Email us, um, post on social media, text us, let your teachers know and let us know what you're doing so that we can um, then support you in all your efforts. So thank you, everyone. Um, I hope you have a good Friday and a wonderful weekend, and let's all make a difference together. And again, thank you, Arsh Paul from Dubuque, Iowa, for that inspiring story. And uh, wish you all a great weekend. See you next month, everybody. Bye.